Do you have an X1 or P1 style printer? Stick around, I'm going to show you how to install this Panda Jet fan duct to improve cooling. On your P1 style printers, and depending on your X1, you should be able to just take it in here, unplug the fan, take this to a convenient place to install it. Get your box. You're going to take everything out. Fan duct, hex key. To remove the stock duct, you're going to need either the included hex key, or if you have your own, you can use 1.5 millimeter. You have two screws to remove. One right here, and one right here. Then, it might be glued a little bit, but just take the old one off. Once you got it off, take your new one, slap it on. Now reinstall your screws. Just go until they're snug. You don't need to over tighten them, you'll strip them out. They're just screwing into plastic. Next, to reinstall, you're going to need to pull it out a little bit. Because you got it now, you got to approach from underneath. But plug your fan back in. Up from underneath, back on, you're good to go. If you have an older X1, that the fan is permanently attached, you can do it from inside the machine. It's just going to be a little trickier. I'll show you how to do that. If you have an AMS sitting on top, go ahead and take that off. And take off your top. So depending on your X1, it may be not, unable to be attached or the cable may be attached in the tool head, in which case you'll just unplug it from here and then you can take it off and do just like the other one. Otherwise, you can dangle it here and kind of do it in here. It's a pain, but it's doable. And then just like on the P1, either pull your cable back in or finish your install, come up from the bottom, and you're good to go. And that's how you install the Panda Jet on your X1 or P1 series printer. Happy printing. Keep making awesome stuff.